Hey everyone, it's about 10 to 11, it's Thursday evening and it's the 11th of July. And I'm in the bedroom because this is where I need to be to uh, show you and discuss about what I'm going to be doing in this bedroom because it involves the bedroom mostly and the outside closet. Now, <clears throat> I've already started clearing out the outside closet, in fact, what's left in there I've got to... Uh, take down to mum's or sell. There isn't a great deal. There's a box of inner tubes, a box of imperial spanners, a stereo system from a brother and a couple of empty um, crates to go down to mum's. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, I've got a little portable TV that I might put up for free. Someone can just come along and take it. If not, it'll get dumped along with a printer that's in the kitchen. I've got <clears throat> that big sort of office printer in the kitchen. I haven't got a use for it. haven't got the drivers for it or a machine that I could actually or would want to run it on. So, it's got to go. I just want the space because I want to put the microwave where that is. So that's going to go. Um, I've got that rare video recorder that plays double-sided video tapes. I'm going to try and sell that cheap. I'm not going to post it. Postage is not an option because it's too damn heavy. Along with a record player that I've actually got under here. Got the um, wooden framed one. We can't see it at this angle, I don't think. Yes, we can. It's just over there. Because <clears throat> as much as I do like that wooden cased <clears throat> Bloody hell. <clears throat> la 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 la. No, I think I need to go and get a swig of my can of Coke. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, as much as I do like that record plan, I would love to keep it. I don't have anywhere to put it. You know, there's nowhere up in this sort of retro corner to put it. And there's nowhere else in the flat to put it either. So, time to say goodbye to that as well. <clears throat> and like I said, even if I could get just £10 for each of those, that's fine with me. I'm not one of these people that think, oh, I've got something old that's worth lots and lots of money. Because <clears throat> to me, it's not. <laughs> um, besides that record player needs some repair work done to it. So that will be a spares or repairs job anyway. Um, but uh, once I've done in the closet, and once that's cleared, I'm going to put some shelving up spaced evenly using one of these lamps here as a height guide one of my maxi lights because all of these lamps are going to be stored in that outside closet on shelves and I'll store them in brand order some of them I'm going to keep in here I might keep these in here because I like those I could hang those up above the bedroom window so they're going to be out of the way <clears throat> but the rest will all go in the closet on the shelves. <clears throat> Two reasons. One, I actually need extra shelf space here in the flat for Lego, believe it or not. And two, apart from that little gap here, I've got nowhere else to put lamps in here anyway. And I've got one, two, <clears throat> at least four to buy next month. Actually some of them I might get this month but now I've got at least one next month to get. So a space for at least two lamps and four to get. I need more space. So the cupboard is pretty much going to become not just a designated area for these road lamps and barricade lamps but for other lamps that I've got as well. I'm going to put a lot of my other weird light fixtures out there too. Um, so yeah, I had a big old sort out in there. Uh, fish tank is still going to go ahead. When I get my cabinet sorted, I cannot fill that with water. It's actually ready to be filled. I think the glass could do with another scrub over, but it is pretty much ready to be filled and set up. I've just got no stand to put it on. The chest of drawers is literally falling to pieces, so I am not going to put a heavy weight on that. <clears throat> so... When I can get my stepdad, I think I might have to remind him because he's probably forgotten. 
just to knock me up a good strong stand for that and then I can get that sword um, but my Lego Technic models I want to display on the top shelf I'm not sure about the bottom shelf yet I might reserve that for die casts and rearrange this I might put like a, a raised plinth at the back so I can put a row of these at the back and whatnot, and just have that top shelf mainly for uh, my Technic models because I really haven't got anywhere to put them in the lounge I've run out of space the whole reason one of my diggers is actually sitting on the end of the table here is because I ain't got nowhere else to put it and I've got a Technic set sitting in the kitchen because I ain't got nowhere to put it <laughs> so <laughs> yeah the only change I want to make here in the lounge is over there in there get rid of that shelf and swap it for a bookshelf because there's more shelves now that'll give me a bit more display space as well but uh, yeah so I've been a busy chappy either Saturday or Sunday I'm gonna take all that stuff down to mum's I'm not gonna have time to do it tomorrow I don't really want to do that on the brother's birthday so <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be going down to Mum Saturday. I might have a day here at home. So it's looking very likely that it'll be a Sunday that I take it down there. Oh. But while I'm in here... Oh, actually, no, before I move on to that bit, so I don't go back and forth between subjects, we'll go back in the bedroom, shall we? The last thing in the bedroom... As you know, I bought myself a railway set. Always wanted one. That came up at a reasonable price, so I just thought, sod it, I'll buy one. <laughs> so, what I plan to do as I, well, as you know, I have nowhere to really set one up, apart from under the bed. So under the bed is going to get cleared. Um, a lot of the light fixtures I mentioned earlier are in the closet here in the hallway. So once I've got those in the outside closet as well, or we'll move to the outside closet, I can put some of these boxes of cars and other boxes in there. And then it will just leave two PC cases, which I could stack in the outside closet anyway with the lamps. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Once that is all cleared, I can then make up a base that will slide nice and snugly under that bed. Um, so it's can't be any wider than the bed and it's got to be long enough to fit in the gap there between the bed legs um, and what I will do I'll put wheels on it so it will literally just roll in and out from under the bed so every time I want to you know play choo choo trains when my big kid wants to come out and play with my diesel engines and whatnot I can just roll it out from under the bed <laughs> simple and then when I'm done or done, you know, building it, because I want it to be a proper layout with buildings and trees and things, I could just slide it back under. That's a long-term project, though. That's not something I want to jump into right away. Um, you know, because I've got too many other projects on at the minute. I've got that bike to restore. Uh, and I want to get myself on the road with my moped. So I'm trying to get that sorted. Um, yeah, so I want to get those done first before I sort of start yet another project in the works. And there's actually a fair bit I want to get done on the LEGO City as well before I start moving on to other things. So yeah, that's good. that will be a long-term thing. Uh, but yeah, I think next week I'm going to order some LEGO parts to get some try to get some more of these projects for this Lego City done. Anyway, I was in Sainsbury's, Cesare Sainsbury's, this evening, because I needed a bag of cat litter for Boss's tray, because what I got out of Lidl's was a little cardboard box for three quid, and it's absolutely crap. Um, for some reason, Lidl's have stopped doing the actual bags of cat litter, which is made by the same company. But it's a lot better. But it was also cheaper. But conveniently, they don't do the bags anymore. They only do the more expensive box, which is actually crap. Anyway, 
went to Sainsbury's because I needed a um, litter tray scoop as well because I snapped mine trying to scoop out this crap that I'd bought from Lidl's. I do hope Lidl's bring back the bags of cat litter. They, you know, they don't just stick with these boxes because it is, it is crap stuff. I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway. It was right down where they sell spare bulbs and things as well, spare light bulbs. And I was just looking randomly and I found these. These are to go in the old halogen floodlight so you can convert them to LED. This is a 7 watt bulb, which is equivalent to a 60 watt light bulb. This will do in the floodlight above my own little shed door. I barely ever use that and I'd only need a little bit of light during winter if I do use it. So don't need anything super duper bright. So, I got four of them because these were on offer. Reduced to clear. I think they're about five or six pounds each originally. And I'm not kidding, Sainsbury's had reduced these to just one pound. So I bought four. <laughs> um, it's a shame they didn't reduce the other one there, which was the 100 watt version, version which was 12 and a half watt in the LED talk. So, equivalent to a 100 watt bulb, because I would have got one of those to put in the um, other floodlight at the back of mum's. But they're six pounds. It'll be on the expensive side. It's not like they use that floodlight very often anyway. During winter more than anything, when, the get, when it gets dark early. So, I don't know, if, Sains if Sainsbury's reduced them, then I'll grab a bunch of those as well. Maybe tomorrow or over the weekend I might just grab a couple more of these so I've got some spare. Because that's a ridiculous price for these, it really is. <clears throat> so, I'll take a couple of these down to Mum's tomorrow. Just in case one doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually pointless in me changing that to an LED because like I said, I don't really use the floodlight barely at all at mum's my one above my shed door it's probably actually the one on the back of the house is used more than the one on my shed but still i'd rather have that in there because uh 120 watt is going to use a lot more power than a 7 watt <laughs> probably not going to be as bright as the 120 watt halogen but like I said, I don't need a great deal of what a great deal of white, a great deal of light there. But uh, yeah, I actually got two poop scoops while I was there because these are only ninety pence. So I thought I'll grab two because I snap another one. <laughs> Because, to be honest, the plastic's not great that they're made with. You might get a bit of wind noise because I'm about to sit down in front of the fan. This lounge has actually cooled down quite a lot now. But I've got a theory as to why this lounge gets so hot in summer. This wall is in direct sunlight most of the day during summer, so... You know, it absorbs a lot of heat. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of that heat... Is making its way into the block of flats because um, this is an old block this is from this was built in the very late 1960s I believe give or take a year or two could have been a bit earlier but I believe around about sort of 68 1969 something like that so even though this has been upgraded with I think they had cav cavity wall insulation Actually, I'm not sure that they did, because I cannot see the holes on the ends of the building that would have been drilled to inject the cavity wall insulation, because that's what they used to do when they upgraded buildings. They'd go along drilling holes at certain heights on the wall, and they'd inject it. But I've not seen the drills, because you'd see them filled in with a little bit of cement. That's what they used to do. But I've not noticed any of that on this building, so don't actually know if that's been done. If that hasn't been done, then my theory of this absorbing the heat and putting it in the flat probably wouldn't be far off, actually. <clears throat> because, I actually say that because my bedroom is actually a lot cooler than it is here. 
you can always feel a temperature difference between both rooms. <sighs> Look at Nemo. <laughs> Are you that fed up, cat? <laughs> Nemo. No, he don't give two hoots, does he? Oh, I didn't show you this. <laughs> I went into the charity shop again the other day, my favourite one, the community shop. Look what I found. That is not an LED, modern LED equivalent to an neon sign. Which I have no problems with. I actually do like those. That is an actual neon sign. Genuine neon sign. That I got it for five pounds. That's the box. I'll have to light that up in the next video, I think, because uh, my battery's about to die on this. And that's decided to work on updates, even though I haven't touched anything on the system. I've just been sitting here talking to you. So, as my battery's decided it's going to go dead, I'm going to end the video here. So, thanks for watching. I know my video is not brilliant at the minute. But, uh, I will be filming a lot of things as I progress. Uh, I will, over the weekend, show you inside the closet. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!